Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, we're gonna to see if we can find out why this tractor won't start. Yeah, it's pretty cold in here. I had the heater set up and blowing on the tractor, trying to warm it up a little bit, and it isn't bad. It's kind of toasty, actually and in a little bit I'm gonna turn it back on. But what we got here, I don't have a 7 8 inch plug wrench. I forgot to get one. When I first bought this tractor, we were looking all over. I got pretty much every size but that. So I gotta go get one of those if I'm gonna change the plugs, but I don't need one to test. What I'm gonna do is hook up my inline spark tester onto all four of the plugs and just get a reading on that and see if I got spark to all four of the plugs. So let's do that first. I charged the tractor up all night last night. Well, it was actually charged by, I don't know, maybe like eight o'clock or so. I came out here and it was all charged up. It wasn't that dead, but now it's got full juice. And I brought this out to remind me Make sure you comment and like on all of the videos in January. I draw a contestant from each one of them. I'll do that at the end of the month. So you can comment on older videos and those will still count up until, up until I go through all of the videos and select the winners from each video. You can comment on them and you'll be entered more than once if you comment more than once. All right, so I'm gonna unwrap this, get it hooked up to the first one. I should actually just try to start it first after it's been sitting and then warming up. Maybe it'll start. I don't know, I'll give that a quick try. If it doesn't start, I'll check all the plugs. All right, put my bayonet down. Turn the key, oh, put this plug back on, plug wire. Uh, let me choke out, turn the key, and... All right. Oh, something just fell. We'll go there. Okay, bayonet back up. And we'll get that tester on there. All right, plug it in this side. Plug it in this side. And then hook it up to the spark plug. Okay. Well, that looks pretty weak. Let's try the next one. That looked the same as the last one. This is a new tester, but that looks awful dim. All right, let's try the next one. I guess that was about the same. All right, I'm gonna try the last one here. Okay, these all looked weak to me. I'm gonna go take this and put it on the zero turn and see what it looks like on that. All right, I went over by the lawnmower and put this on it and tried starting it, but the battery was nearly dead. So I really couldn't tell, but it, it looked about the same as it did on here. So I really have no idea. I ran to town. They did not have a 7 8 inch plug wrench, 
So I got this 7 8 inch deep well, which will work, but I just have to be a little careful. So what I'm going to do, this is the plug I pulled. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's, it's fairly dirty. But I've seen dirtier plugs that were running. But I have the exact same plugs as replacements. So what I'm going to do is put all four of the new ones in. I'm going to save these. I think they're just fine. I'm just going to clean them up and regap them. And I'll put those in at some other time. But I'm going to pull these out one at a time, spritz a little bit of starting fluid in there, put the plug back in, get them all in there, and I'm going to try to start it again. If it's no go, I'm going to test the coil to see if the coil's okay. I'm getting spark at the plug. I can't really tell how good the spark is. I don't know how bright this gets when you have a good spark going, so... I guess it's not really helping me. I do know that there is spark to the plug though. So let's get these in there and see if it starts. And then if it doesn't, I'll test the coil, but I believe the coil is fine. It's looking like it's going to be a gas problem. So if none of this stuff works, I'm just going to button this thing up, put the hood on, roll it out of here, and then I'll have all this room to do the stuff I got to get done this winter. I'll probably roll this back in once that stuff's done and try working on this again. I will take the carb off though. I have today and tomorrow before we get a big load of drywall and I'd kind of like to put the drywall right there and cut it right here. There's only seven sheets that are going in room 13 so that'll go pretty quick but I really need this out of my way. So let's get at it and see if we can get her started. I exchanged all four plugs for new ones. Turn this electricity back on with the bayonet. Turn the key and give her a give her a try. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, that tells me a lot. When this thing was firing like that, it was running off the starting fluid, but it should have started drawing fuel from the carburetor, and apparently it didn't. It was firing just fine. The electronic system is just fine. It's somewhere either in the fuel line. Uh, this had a vapor lock before, but I don't think that's the problem. I do think the problem is the carburetor. So what I'm going to do is pull the carburetor off, I'm going to at least clean it and put it back on and see if that helps. If not, I can rebuild the carburetor. I'll test how well the fuel runs through the system, but I, I believe it's going to do just fine. So I think that's our problem. And I can't do all that before I need to have this place cleared out. So what I'm going to do is pull that carburetor off, cover the hole, drain the fuel out of this, get the hood back on and clear out an area here and just push this outside. That way I'll have access to what I need to have access to and when I'm done with that stuff I can push this back in, put the carburetor back in and try again. So what I'm going to do right now is get this back onto the charger. Actually disconnect the battery, shut it off, all right, let's get the charger on this thing and pull that carburetor off. Thank you. 
cleaned it up a little bit or I cleaned it up a lot actually on the outside it was just totally filthy but the actual problem with this is likely that it's all gummed up you can really really smell a strong smell of shellac so I'm guessing it's had bad gas in it for a good amount of time before I even bought it and then I don't believe I ever put any gas in it all we did was drive this up. We bought it down in the village and then drove it up the hill and it stalled halfway. We actually went and got a new battery. It was stuck next to a farm up here in the middle of nowhere. So Cindy ran to town, got a battery. We put that in and we got it here. So I don't know. The electronics appear to be just fine. This really needs to be at least cleaned, but I probably should rebuild it right away while I'm at it. Then I'll know nothing is wrong. I mean, every single part of the ignition is brand new. It's got a brand new harness, new battery cables, new coil, new electronic ignition, new distributor cap, new wires, new plugs. Yeah, everything is new, a new alternator. And I don't know if that thing's charging yet or not. It should be, but that's not the problem. So I guess what I'm going to do, uh, I would really like this space, but I guess I can put the drywall up against that rack right there while I'm doing this drywalling. And I can do this well, not at my leisure. It needs to get done. So I guess I can do this. It shouldn't take more than, you know, three, four hours a good afternoon. So maybe I'll just order a rebuild kit and get it over with. Okay, well, I guess that's where this video ends. It kind of started. It was running under starting fluid for a little while and then died back out. I'm gonna put this back on the charger overnight so the battery's fresh when I get the carburetor rebuilt and I'll be trying to start this again a little bit later, I guess. Ah, <sighs> just a pain in the butt. So if you wanna see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.